Welcome to the Holy Cross Football Show. I'm Bob Fulraker, along with the head coach of the Crusaders, Tom Gilmore. Well, Coach, this coming Saturday, you're opening up your 2014 campaign up in Albany. But before we talk about that, what about the preseason? Preseason is going pretty well so far, um, Bob. You know, you always get to this point where you're looking forward to playing that first game. But we've really seen the team improve from a technical standpoint and a schematic standpoint. I just think we've matured a lot since day one. Um, you know, as a coach, it's always hard to assess how the team is doing because when one side of the ball is doing well, the other side isn't yeah. and vice versa. So um, it's, it's always hard, but uh, the thing that I have seen is some really good competitiveness and overall the attitude, I think, uh, has been very good. And uh, our players have worked hard both in the off season and then during the preseason here. And uh, I think it's uh, something that they've put so much into. I don't think that they're going to um, give in to anything this season, that's for sure, not easily. Any pleasant surprises in the pre? Um, you know, I don't know if there were any major surprises. You always have um, some, uh, you know, um, expectations for the incoming freshmen. You know, where they're going to land, you, you always assume that they're going to be behind, you know, adjusting to the college game and so on. Um, I really like the athleticism of the freshman class overall. Um, and, uh, and several of those guys have been, you know, in the two deep already, which I think is, is a, a real testament to them to break into the two deep by the first game of your career. Um, and I think a lot of those guys are also going to help us in special teams. But I think, you know, some of our guys have really progressed, the, the veteran players, especially some of the sophomores who played a lot last year, Peter Pujols, who had an outstanding freshman campaign, came out back and, and really is, uh, is, is really playing at a very high level, and he's a guy that is going to make a lot of big plays for us this season. Your offensive line, bigger than last year. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had some size at different times, and we've been finally able to keep uh, some of those veteran guys healthy uh, during the preseason. So, um, you know, those older guys that are playing for us, the, the seniors especially, are big physical players. And, you know, they have a lot of, you know, several years now under their belts, not only playing time, but in the weight room. And uh, they're, they're mature and they're physical and they're ready to go. Your second year of scholarships, how many scholarships do you have after two years? We have 29 in the program right now, um, and uh, um, you know the Patriot League schedule was you were allowed to give 15 a year for the first two years, ramping up to 60 in the four-year period. Uh, so basically, budgeting them uh, in the, in 15 a year was the idea. So we're 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 just one behind, um, you know, basically due to losing a kid right before the signing date this year, but. Uh, but we're, we're, we're going to be right up to par, um, you know, going into next year from that standpoint. Your quarterback, Peter Puglios, how is he doing? He's had a great preseason so far, like I said. Um, the difference is I think he really understands not only our offense, but how to read defenses and what to expect. Um, you know, part of the issue is, is Peter is such a good player. He can make a lot of things happen, but sometimes you have to be smart and take what's there and uh, just be impatient at the times you need to be and the big plays will open up for you. And he's done a great job of that, um, making some big plays, throwing the ball and with his feet running the ball. How about the receiving court? You lost a good one in Fest. We did. I mean, you know, Mike was Mr. Reliable, um, always had him the go, the, you know, go to guy. Um, but we have some guys, you know, Khalif Raymond is back on the inside and he was a guy that was uh, a, a very capable player, but was hampered with several injuries last year. And uh, this year he's healthy and boy, he really looks a lot different. Tyler Artem is also an experienced guy that's in there that's uh, played an awful lot for us. Uh, and then on the outside, we got some really fast guys. Jake Wysork played a lot as a freshman last year. Jeremy Murray is an experienced guy on the other side. Those guys have some legitimate speed and also a lot of experience. So uh, I feel pretty good, you know, with the starting unit of receivers out there. And they've worked with Peter quite a bit in the off season, so I think they can make a lot of big plays. How about your kicking game, Coach? Looking good so far. Connor Fitzgerald's taken over the, both the punting and kicking duties. Um, he's backed up by a couple of very capable guys in Zane Wasp and Will McGrail. Our return game is excellent, as you know, but we have a lot of those semi-skill and skill guys that uh, 
you know, on the team that we have better depth there that uh, are stepping in in all those other important spots in special teams. And uh, we've been real impressed with what they've been doing so far. This is the Holy Cross Football Show. I'm Bob Florick with head coach Tom Gilmore. When we come back, we're going to have some student athletes joining us. But first, let's break for these messages. <laughs> 